guys hello wonderful people welcome to my channel this is psychology channel psychology corner i'm the only one psychology in the building <laughs> so i bring greetings to you all from wherever you're watching from i greet you all you know today is a very special day every day is special in its own place yeah because for the fact that we are alive we are special and we are to appreciate god in every time we see ourselves alive because it's just a privilege not a right so thank you very much for coming to my channel i have a very important um topic today which is what's led me to this video is because of a lot of requests a lot of since i posted about the job and business opportunity in Benin republic a lot of people via my facebook even in the comment section has asked me a lot of questions so answering them separately as in differently i've been answering that question so i decided to make this video and which is the the question based on how is the cost of living the cost of living in Benin republic that is the cost of living in Benin republic so i want to start with one relocation is not really easy in any angle wherever you're relocating with without money yes and uh, relocating with money and you go there and be eating it without having any further work or investment is not really is not really good because the money one million naira you took out five naira from it will not be complete again if it is where you are going to buy something car or land they want you to fill there to put it before they can collect it from you so we always have that in mind so talking about the cost of living because i've talked about the rents so a lot of people showed interest and they were like what is the cost of living how as in the cost of living there how is it i would say compared to what we are seeing here in nigeria is very very moderate the cost of living is very very moderate so talking about the food first i'm going to start with food then with light and other things transportation and other things we need to talk about in this video yes the cost of living cost and um, talking about food it is very very okay and it is something that you can always fit in yourself is it the rice the tomato the whatever the food fish anything talk anything about food is good is it the tea the brief wages you give to the children is moderate it's very moderate so after this video the next video i will do on concerning this Benin republic will have be about severe going into the market so you see how things are to price some things you see it live so that is what i want to do but after this video the next will be that so you watch out for that video so talking about food rice everything is very moderate as long as you have something you're doing you pay as in you pay and get what you paid for yes if you pay you use money like now presently for people living in nigeria you know i'm not exaggerating and i'm not saying it because i want to paint nigeria bad or whatever i don't know in another country but i know that nigeria here i feel is worst because you living in a, with a family of three let me say a family of three in a house the husband and the three children we including the husband five thousand will not be enough to make food as in to prepare soup to prepare soup it will not be enough some people these days like men that have not been going into the markets if you give your wife 5k to prepare soup just soup and she prepared it you will feel as if she saved money without buying necessary animals <laughs> you understand what i'm saying the food the fish all other things to spice up the food to make it tasty now 
5,000 is out of it because it cannot prepare as in a quality food that you can eat. Just man, you just have to manage it. Let's say you don't have um, the 5,000 is, is soup and with eba or gari or fufu that you used to eat it. Forget about it. You don't have any. A painter of gari is ready to 1,000 plus, except to some side that is 800 that I'm seeing. But what I see is 1,000 plus, 1,100. Then you get it, meat is out of it. If you see meat of, as in getting to see the meat of 3,000 naira, you can, you just count it. It's just for you people to eat for that day. One is, as in one meat, you count it. The day I bought it, 3,000 I have to buy it. They have to cut. When I came back home, I was washing it. It was... 100 100 naira per one. I counted it 100 100 naira per one. 30 pieces. The woman just cut up the small one and put. I'm just telling you. So, if you happen to buy 1000 naira, if you okay, they give you 5000, you can you buy meat of 3000 out of it? Is out of it? You can make it. So, that's what I'm saying. But in this place, it's not like that. Kotonu. As in Bene Republic, which is Kotoni, is not like as in it is not like that. Everything is just moderate that you can. It's better than what we are seeing in Nigeria. I don't know apart. I don't know other countries, but when you talk of food items, you pay and you get what you paid for. You know why I made that statement is that you go to the market with ten thousand naira, you're calling a, a poly bag, and after buying it, you will not even feel as if you're carrying something. So we you end up thinking because so many times that happened to me, I was like, Where did I did I misplace money? But when you come back home and search all those things, find out that you spend those money, but the what you buy is so ridiculous that you cannot even think that what kind of thing is this so in that in this side i'm talking about it is not that way because i do visit i go and come back i go come back go i go and come back and i find out a lot of things about it not that i'm not permanently there but i go there i stay one month two months I stay more than that, come back. I've seen things myself. I've gone to the market to buy food to prepare, food stuff to prepare soup, a goosey soup and other soup. So I know what I'm talking about. It is not that way. Everything is moderate. So, but what I'm trying to answer, like the question is that what the cost of living, rice, is, you can see meats, you can see all those things are not that expensive like it is in this in nigeria presently now but i pray that things will change recently as you remain obedient so back to it the food stuff all those as you can see it display on the screen the food stuff is not expensive like it is in this country presently now so when I'm saying is something that you can, you can, if you have something you're doing, if you're a teacher, if you're a teacher in Benin Republic or you're a business person, a business somebody, you're doing your business, you'll be able to eat very fine. As long as you have something you're doing, you will feed very fine and you have quality, as in you get the quality of what you spend, not buying something you end up wasting your money you think that you're mad when you look at some things you buy or you think you misplace money it is not like that so talking about another thing is that because these are the part of things that help us in in, in any country the cost of living you talk about food you talk about good roads the road is very fine you talk about transportation is very is moderate is in as in in this part of Nigeria, and I don't know where you can get a transportation. Maybe you're going somewhere, you pay 100 naira, 100 sefa. You pay uh, 50 sefa. I've not seen it. Even in, like now, as in like, like, like now, some of you know, I don't know which road would I use to give you an example now that you will understand. Let me say from which Eziweka to Awada, as in going to Awada, 
bef like just that distance. Now you can collect 15 naira. As people that are transport transporters, you know it is not easy. Or somebody going from from Oweri to Onicha, you know how much you're paying. The as, as in transportation in Nigeria now is too expensive. Talk about Lagos. Maybe you are going from Oweri down to Lagos. You know you're paying up to 13 k. 13, uh, 16, uh, 13 k or 12 k or 10 k 10,000 naira you're paying for transportation because of everything the fuel bump up everything is just um so is just so as in so uh, everything is expensive you so you don't know where you're talking about but in Benin Republic you're entering a, a you are entering Kekeno that's what we, for, that is fondly called Kekeno in Nigeria we we'll call it bike or you call it okada you can enter a place and you have your coin and they are still using coin you have your 15 era coin 50 sefa you enter when you drop you give to the okada and the kekeno person 15 era you have your 100 naira coin you enter you they still collect you each coin you look for coin so that you not be stressing them giving them 1000 sefer for them to be running about so when i want to go at what i look for i look for coin i look for 100 sefer 50 sefer because of anywhere they drop you the highest they can collect from you is 100 sefer depend on the distance you go and the distance always be very um, as a very far they collect 100 sefer sometimes you give them 50 sefer depend on where you're going but here in nigeria you are entering bike bike is calling 500 naira from for you 500 naira. you say you're not going just get down from my car or get down from my bike because of the price of fuel the price everything has gone up so when i'm talking about the cost of living all these things are also included like somebody that is going to maybe you're working and you're being paid forty thousand naira a month that forty thousand you sit down and calculate your transportation you're almost spending twenty five thousand naira out of it so what are you doing at the end of the day you find out that you're working in a month you're earning only fifteen thousand naira um 25,000 naira is gone on transportation, 15,000. And this is just management. If you now add to your feeding and everything, you find out that you're just wasting your time. Waking up early, very early in the morning, coming back late and you're not working. So it is not like that in this country. You are, as in your show, like some people that I told about going to um, Misebe to walk, you're walking. From where, as in from... Cinema Concord, as in from that place to um, to um, Misebe, they collect 100 sefa from you, they collect 100 sefa from you, you go and come back. And okay, check, you're, you are going in a day, you're, you work for 10 hours and you're being paid 10,000 sefa. And at that 10,000 sefa, it is only 200 sefa you remove from it from your transportation. And maybe if you're somebody that eats anyhow, maybe after eating in the house, you still eat again for that 10 hours you work. You just about spending, let me say approximately, you're spending 500 sefa out of the 10,000 sefa they gave to you. So you're still making gain of 9,500 9, 9, sefa. So the cost of living is not that expensive. Yes, I'm talking about that is over for now. So the next one is light. Because darkness, like here we are, whenever you see that Nepal bring light in Nigeria, you see everybody is, there's this kind of joy that comes into you because darkness brings sorrow. When you're coming back home, you're being stressed up, you're being held up on um, um, traffic on the road and you're getting to the house, there is no light it it's frustrating but in this place there's 24 hours light you pay for what you you pay for you pay and you get the quality of the light you're paying for but in nigeria here where we're living we pay seven thousand naira a month yet in that one month you cannot count a day that there is light as in that there is light for that 24 hours they can just flash it before you say you plug your phone they have taken it again is it is in nigeria that i see that shops 
shops they use money to buy fuel fuel their generator make money from their drinks cold drink because people need cold drink they use it to cool and you use the profit you make from the fuel you bought you use it to pay nepa bill that is well but in this place there is one woman close to where i always stay when i come around in my place that i always stay when i come around and um, to kotumu this woman because in Benin republic Coca-Cola is very expensive. One bottle of Coke is 300 sefa. But in Nigeria here is 200. Now they are selling 200, but before it is 150, but now it's 200. So they are selling in Benin Republic is 300 sefa. So this woman used to do Zobo drink. <laughs> when I say Zobo drink, in the, you know that there is always sun, heavy sun in Benin Republic. When there is sun and you see people gather one place like this, they are coming, they come and see. She sell this Zobo drink, she sell it like fire. As it is sell so well. And there is no time you go to her that you will not get chilled warm. Even sometimes it's been blocked. It's, it used to be blocked. But in Nigeria here, you see people selling Zobo drink. They will buy, they will have to, after making the expensive, expensive that they, 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 after expense, they spend a lot of things, a lot of money in buying the ingredients to prepare the Zobo drink. They will still spend money in buying block to put there so that it will be chilled. Because Zobo drink, you can't take it when it's hot. It's not always good. But in this place, if you are somebody that you can't, you, you, you just come into Benin Republic and you look for a shop, you want to sell you want to sell snacks, you're somebody that you know how to make snacks, you can make it, and you add it to this super drink. My dear, you'll be making your money whole, and this is, they sell it 100 sefa. They sell it 100 naira, 100 sefa, for one can, and it don't, they don't fool it like we fool here. They sell it 100, 100 sefa. 100 sefa, except you want the big one, 200, but they sell it like that. And they get there is no time you reach there you will not find chilled one unlike my you. treasure is calling now yeah sorry like i was saying before let me say it very fine like i was saying before i got a call so you get the quality of what you paid for in that time and you're like as i was saying you as somebody you're good in that so you will have light constant light to fridge as in to fridge your zobo drink and your snacks and you see people always coming around because what they want is that you must have those things when you have it you see people coming to your shop to patronize you you will always see people around even some people that sell bread this there's this their bread that is tall i don't have it here that's why i say when i get there i'll make some view and show you a lot of things you see it like you have people selling that bread they always come to that woman's shop to just to stay by the corner because people are buying the drink the zobo drink and they are getting the the um they are buying the bread to eat she doesn't sell snacks but she sells provision that's nice she doesn't sell it so if you're somebody that you want to go in that line of business you must be active you must always produce not you do today you will not do tomorrow so if it is in that case you know you'll be making your cool money so that 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 light is excellent as long as you pay your bills when it comes monthly and is according to what you use if you are somebody that can manage, you're somebody you can manage your light. You maybe you're living in two rooms, uh, two room and parlor. You manage your light. You'll be paying little. Yes, you'll be paying little because anytime you only there, are some people like you pay as you go. They tend to off this, off that, off this, off that. Even if you own it, because I know we always leave the fridge. The fridge is always on, and you know children, they will own the light, but yet at the end of the day, the bill will be very low, because you use, is according to what you use. So that is that for the 
that aspect. Another aspect I talk about is good road. The road is very good. So many people in this place, as in, in Nigeria, what they are what we are complaining so much in Nigeria, we're not talking about people that are looting the money, but what Nigerians are complaining is, give us good road, give us light, give us water, amenities, all those social amenities, those things that we, we will need. That is what we are complaining of, but those things are not in place here. The promises will not be, somebody that is doing business, you wake up very early in the morning to go to and to your business, you will not get, transportation is very high, the road is not good, so the transporters add everything together. They add the fuel money, add the time wasted on the road because of the bad road, everything, someone it and the price has to go up. So there is good road when you're doing going wherever you're going there's good road there's all those things are in place so that is the little i have to talk about because this is what i think is the most important thing somebody will need when you're packing or you're moving into a new place you look at the cost of living how it is if it is something you can you, your capacity can carry the work you're doing, whether you can be able to meet those demands. Yes, talking about for people that have children, I, I, I don't need to leave it apart. It is also cost of living. Maybe you're a family, you have kids, and you want to put them in school. Their school, the, um, the school fees is moderate. There is for people that have, there are some people that are paying 200,000 sefa for schools you know back in nigeria here there is some schools that are paying a million plus secondary school or, or less so that is also how it is there and they are teaching very well there are some people that their own is very low very low when i say very low as twenty thousand sefa fifteen thousand sefa depend on the place fifty thousand sefa depend on the school and their environment is very good their environment is very good for some people that want to take their children, their kids to school. This is also part of cost of living. There is 50,000 sefer, there is 20,000 sefer, there is 20,000, and there is um, 30,000 sefer, depend on the school you choose to take, to, to take your kids to. I'm not mentioning any school for you, but when you come, or when you want to investigate or you want you come around you check you, you go you come around you check you go there is hotels where you can stay after all those fighting but this i'm telling you is facts it is something that you can fit in when you're doing something there are some people in this place believe you me their kids did not go to school this time because despite that they are paying ten thousand naira so their kids did not go to school despite that the price as in the price of um, the school fees is low why because some of them are doing business but you know you're doing business and you're not making gain you're doing business you're not making gain you are in the shop you pay more but yet you're not getting gain, so that is why. Not because they don't want their kids to go to school, but because the cost of living is very high and they couldn't make it this time to send their school, their kids to school. So these are the cost of living. It is very, very, these things I mentioned to you now is very, very after shelter. That is after you the shelter you talk about. These are the next thing you talk about in with cost of living because one you talk about shelter you talk about food you talk about social amenities the good road the lights so all those things follow in cost of living so that is what i have to say in this so if i didn't get i didn't answer your question very well you can still tell me so that i can put them but for me as a person this is what i check this is what i check this is what I check around when I 
I check around when I want to do something. My baby is disturbing, just been sleeping and I'm doing uh, <laughs> I'm doing the video. So he woke up, I need to go carry him and cut short. So that is what I think is the major thing in course of living. So that is what I have to say. So guys, peace. I am so grateful to God. My channel is going. So please, if you see me for the first time, don't forget. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. And I want to thank all my subscribers. Really, you people are doing so much. You people are really trying. Thank you so very much. I'm so grateful. And may the Lord keep blessing you and your family. Thank you very much. And let's call it a day. Thank you.